Xin chào, welcome to Philadelphia with Hannah. Today is a holiday in Vietnam and I also know that it's a holiday in a lot of countries too. And I have a holiday mood, so it means I just only want to relax and chill and don't really want to work out. Sometimes it's good to just listen to your body, but today I feel like I need to work out. And so I just decided to make this video because I know a lot of you guys might have a holiday mood as well. And if you ever feel that, just rather met and let's begin with me because you're gonna feel so much better and happier after this workout. So let's do that. All right, now let's begin by allow yourself to come to sit along the mat. Lengthen your legs and open your legs if it apart here. Now I want you to keep your back in neutral position. Bring your hands to the front and palms facing down to the mat. Inhale and exhale, reach. Inhale, come back, drop your shoulders, belly button all the way in and reach and bring it back. Make sure you press your sitting bones down to the mat. So use your core to roll back and drop your shoulders and come back, reach and slowly bring it back to the center. And four more times, sit with your own breath. So keep breathing. Three. Two and last one, reach and slowly bring it back. Drop your shoulders or open it to the side. Now soften your elbows. Inhale and lift your arms all the way up. Exhale, rotate the torso to one side. Inhale, come back. Exhale to your opposite side and come back. So five more times each side here with your own breath and keep breathing. Inhale, open and exhale back to the center and to the other side and come back. Beautiful. And three. To your right, Darcy flex with your feet. Two. To your right. And last one. Slowly to the other side and back to the center. Hands now rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and reverse. All right. Now from here, I want you to allow yourself to lean backward. Close your elbows to the back and put your shoulder far away from your ears. Open your chest. Now really engage your core here. Press your feet down and inhale. Lift your hips as high as you can and exhale slowly, bring it down. So make sure that you keep your hips stabilized and square here. I mean, balanced and look towards the front. Don't look towards the ceiling. You don't want to cause a lot of pressure on your neck. So inhale, lift and exhale down. 10 times, stay with your own breath and keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. And nine. Very good. Pull your belly button in and use the breath to control the movement. Eight. Seven. Squeeze in the thighs. Contract your pelvic floor muscle. Six. And five. Belly button all the way in. Four. Keep breathing. Inhale, lift. And exhale down. And two more times. Sit with your own breath. Keep breathing. And last one. Lift. And slowly hold it here. I want you to inhale and exhale slowly. Draw your hips all the way down. Hug your knees to your chest. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. You can rotate your wrist a little bit if you need to. Now the next movement, I want you to inhale and keep your legs lengthening. But keep your heels and your knees together. Keep your feet down, see flex here. Now I want you to bring your hand on hand, shoulders down. Now inhale and rotate your torso to one side. Exhale, come back. Inhale to your opposite side and exhale, bring it back to the center. Couple more times, stay with your own breath and make sure that you keep your back lengthening here. So if you feel like it's a little bit hard to keep your back lengthening, you can always use a yoga block or a blanket or a pillow to sit on it for more support. But really lengthen your spine, shoulders down and belly button in. Feel your oblique twisting to the other side, inhale. And exhale, come back in three, two, very good. And last one, to the other side and slowly back to the center hands. Now rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and reverse. Now I want you to inhale and allow yourself to bring your hands all the way up to the ceiling again, palms facing each other. Now slowly bend your knees and open your legs, hip width apart. Press your feet down, keep your legs parallel to each other. Now inhale, lean backward and shoulders down, open your chest. Lift it up, engage your core 
and then inhale, lift your torso, your whole arms all the way up to the ceiling, come back, and slowly use the breath to control the movement, and you can reverse the breath if you need to, so inhale up, and exhale, lean backward, shoulders down, belly button all the way in, make sure you contract your pelvic floor muscles here, by imagining that you're trying to stop the urine flow, shoulders down, and lift, and exhale down, beautiful, in three, two, and the last one, lift, and slow, open your chest and hold it here, engage your core, feel your core is working here, hold it for five, four, three, two, and one, slowly come back, hug your knee to your chest, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now the next movement, I want you to inhale and put your hand behind your hips again. Now this time, try to find a balanced part on your sitting bones and close your elbows to the back again. Shoulders down towards your hips, really pull your belly button in towards the spine. Now lift your legs up, activate your feet here. So really find a balanced spot on your hips, sitting bones here. Activate your feet, keep your lower legs parallel to the floor. Now inhale. And exhale, slowly open your legs to the side and come back, engage your core, keep breathing. And five, four, three, belly button all the way in, two, and last one. And slowly bring your legs down, shake your hips, hug your knee to your chest, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. <sighs> all right, now the next movement, I wanted to inhale and put your hand behind your, under your knees here and close your, I mean, open your elbows, open your chest and shoulders down, inhale. Now I want you to inhale and slowly lift one leg up and to the other side, activate your feet here, find a balanced part. And if you're a beginner and if you feel it, it's a little bit hard to uh, keep balance here, you can always put your hand behind your hips and really feel free to do that. Just really listen to your body. Now close your elbows, shoulder down and really pull your belly button in. I want you to inhale. And exhale, slowly lengthen one leg, come back to your opposite side and slowly bring it back. Really engage your core here to support your lower back. And make sure you open your chest here, lengthen your spine. Very good, keep breathing. We're going to do it five more times, see with your own breath. I can see my leg is shaking. So keep breathing here, squeeze your thighs and contract your pelvic floor muscle. And make sure you always keep your leg, your lower legs parallel to the floor. So four, to your left. Three, to the other side, and two more times, say with your own breath. So keep breathing, last one, and to the other side, and slowly bring your legs down. Hug your knees to your chest, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. <sighs> All right, now the next movement, I want you to inhale and put your hand behind your hips again. Close your eyes, slowly touch your feet, keep your feet dorsi flex here. Now lift one leg up. Engage your core, chest open and shoulders down. Lift your opposite leg here. So inhale and slowly pull your toe to the front and then dorsi flex. So we feel like your torso is not moving here, but your core is still actually working very hard here. So really engage your core, chest open, shoulders down. And five more times, say with your own breath. Four, three, very good, two, and last one and slowly bring your legs down, hug the knee to your chest, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. <sighs> All right, now the next movement, I want you to inhale and bend your knees to one side. So your finger point towards the opposite side and use your hand to the side, parallel to the floor. Now keep engage your core and keep a straight line from your heel to your hips here. You can always open your knees wider to make it easier. Eyes on the elbow, rotate to face to the front. Now lift your waist up, inhale and lift your hips as high as you can, hands over your head and come back. We're going to do it four more times here with your own breath and keep breathing. Three, belly button all the way in and try to lift your hips as high as you can. Really engage your core. And last one, and slowly bring it down. Now bring your knees all the way towards your hips. So. Again, if you feel it's a little bit difficult to do this, you can always open your legs wider. 
Just really listen to your body and inhale, lean on your opposite side and come back. Very good. Keep breathing here with your own breath and we're going to do it five more times. Inhale and exhale. Four, three, beautiful. Engage your core and lengthen your waist here. And last one. And slowly back to the center, hands down. Bring your knees to your opposite side. So again, a straight line from your heel to your hips, fingers towards the opposite side, eyes on the elbow, just rotate to the front and lift your hips, your waist as high as you can. Now again, inhale and slowly lift your hips up. Exhale down. Keep breathing here with your own breath and belly button in. And four, engage your core here. Keep breathing. If you can, contract your pelvic floor muscle at the same time. Two, last one and slowly bring your arms down oh forgot <laughs> okay so bring your heel towards your hips here and then again just open this wider if you need to really listen to your body now bring your hand to the side and lean back to the side bending come back inhale and exhale really lengthen your waist when you do that hand on your knee ankle here and three belly button in do it with your own breath. And the last one. Inhale. And exhale slowly. Bring your hands down. Cross your leg. Lengthen your spine. Hands on your knees. Articulate your spine. Inhale. Look up. Exhale. Roll your spine. Chin your chest. Belly button in. And six. Do it really slowly. Do it with your own breath. Five. Shoulders down when you arch your back. And really engage your core to support your lower back. And chin your chest, roll each vertebra at a time, rise your spine. Again. And three. Two. And last one. Hold it here for three, two, and one. Chin your chest, rise your spine. Hold it here for three, two, and one. Slowly lengthen your spine to neutral position again. All right, now the next movement, I wanted to inhale and bring your head to one side. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly to your opposite side. And hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly back to the center. Rotate your head to one side, to your opposite side. And come back one more time. Rotate your head around your neck. And reverse. And lengthen your spine again. And that's the work up today. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so happy that you did it and we did it together. So see you tomorrow. And please subscribe and hit the bell to see notifications every time I upload a new video. See you tomorrow. Bye.